Retro Gamers Antarp here from Retro Games Collector with a very short uh, video comparing new ZX81 keyboard membranes. Um, I've got the original ZX81 keyboard here just to show you first. Um, now this one's dated 1980 as you would expect there. Um, this one's come out of a kit so the keys are um, their original colour and not covered all with grime and 30 years of gunk. <laughs> um, unfortunately the backing is uh, peeling off this one but that's what happens when you've uh, stored them for 35 years in a box and not used them um, basically I've got this to compare the quality of the printing the accuracy of the printing uh, and the thickness um, between this original and the new ones uh, the new ones are all considerably thicker than this uh, and also a lot less responsive when you run your finger over the top of uh, an original uh, membrane like this, you can feel little indentations when you go over the keys. Um, I think it's just basically because the uh, the surface covering on these is much, much thinner than uh, on the new ones, and therefore it makes it a lot more responsive to touch. Um, so basically, if you've got one of these in your ZX81, don't necessarily replace it with a new one. Uh, if it works, keep it as long as you can because um, basically the new ones aren't anywhere near as responsive as this uh, I'll pop that one to one side for a second and I'll show you the first keyboards here are two keyboard membranes from sell my retro um, I do believe the one dated 2014 here uh, can also be got from data serve retro and ZX renew um, the difference being between these two um, apart from the colour of the membrane tails is uh, the fact this one here has got a keyboard legends slightly changed uh, to cater for the um, ZX band um, well, the ZX band uses uh, a few new commands so these are now included on this keyboard so on the Z you have got um, cat added on the S key you have got delete added and on the G key you have got config added those are all new commands for um, use with the ZX band um, and uh, that's, what, that's what this keyboard is uh, basically apart from that these two keyboards are pretty much the same there is a slight difference with the uh, membrane tail ends as you can see um, but apart from that and the colour, they are exactly the same thickness. And these micrometer up at just under a millimetre, so 0.97 millimetres. Um, now the biggest difference apart from the thickness uh, and the responsivity of these is... you look at these two color of the keys is slightly different these are much whiter these are grayer like a silvery gray these on the original um, and basically it's a wrong typeface um, now a lot of people probably wouldn't care um, about the typeface but uh, if you're going to do a keyboard membrane for a retro computer you could at least get the typeface right I think um, these are using Arial I mean of all typefaces to use uh, the originals it's a derivative of um, Helvetica from the look of it uh, not a difficult typeface to get hold of and to use um, but obviously they, I think it's just laziness frankly that they couldn't be bothered to get the original typeface or even close to it um, it may be me, I'm, a, I'm an ex-typographer, graphic designer, um, and these things bother me, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look right. Uh, apart from the fact that um, it's the wrong typeface, um, it's slightly the wrong weight as well. Um, they've also got the keyboard legends, different sizes, so if I directly compare, the, if you compare the M key, as you can see the uh, lesser than and greater than signs are 
much smaller um, on the new one same goes for asterisk forward slash um, colon and semicolon so a bit of inaccuracy there which uh, I'm not too enamored with to be honest we'll put them to one side um, we have a newcomer on the market and that is this one pure retro this one's uh, got a this one's pretty new so I need 2019 this one was produced um, actually get it in focus thank you so this one um, although even thicker still and I'll micrometer this one up now this one's just over a millimeter thick so this 1.05 millimeters um, although thicker has actually got the correct typeface on it and the accuracy of the rest of the printing is quite good the only downsides I can see is uh, on the F key here there's a pixel missing from the uh, the graphic and the red print is slightly offset right as can be seen on the shift key here um, apart from that the printing is really good on these new ones on these uh, pure retro ones although the thickness is uh, well they're even thicker so they stick up slightly further on your ZX81 than the original one would um, and also they are a lot less responsive than the original as I say um, to be honest the Pure Retro I've tested them all the Pure Retro and the Soma Retro um, keyboards are all about as responsive as each other to be honest um, not great <laughs> um, which is why and we come to the fourth keyboard which is why I personally um, use one of these now this is called a KDLX it's produced by a guy in Germany um, goes by the name of Pokemon on uh, Sell My Retro and this is uh, this one's got switches underneath so it is a clicky keyboard whether you can hear that so obviously the responsiveness of this is fantastic you know when you press the key because it clicks um, the thickness is ridiculously thick I mean obviously he's got to make it thick to get the switches in or I'll just micrometer it up for you just so you can see how thick it is so that one is 2.12 millimeters so that's twice as thick as the overly thick uh, new ones that you can get but um, obviously if you can have tactile switches in there um, it's got to be thick uh, I think he's got it about as thin as he can um, But it's a nice thing and this is what I personally use on my ZX80 ones um, because if you're playing a game using the keyboard you want to know if you've pressed the buttons or not if you've got one of these new replacement keyboards from Selma Retro or Pure Retro frankly you can't tell whether you're pressing the key hard enough or not because there's just no feedback at all from them and um, and they're not very responsive so not great for playing games on um, this is much better for playing games on because you can actually feel it click and you know you've pressed it um, obviously it's got uh, a thick keyboard ribbon on there as well which is liable to endure a lot better than the uh, than the thin plastic ones so all in all a nice little package from Pokemon the only downside and you've probably already spotted it is the printing and the accuracy um, of the printing on this and if you want to compare it to the original it's even further away from the original than those um, other modern reproductions um, he's got the right typeface 
um, but it's too extended on the new keyboard um, the keys are even whiter as you can see I mean they're, they're white white um, on, a, on a plus point it's a lot easier to read it's quite well done in the in the fact that you can actually read it well um, but if you wanted something to look like the original keyboard the KDLX isn't it um, Uh, these are surprisingly cheap, not much more to buy than uh, one of the replacement keyboards uh, from Selma Retro or uh, Pure Retro. So uh, these are very good value for money uh, if you do, um, if you don't mind it looking different because it obviously sticks out a little bit off your uh, ZX81, whereas the originals fit flush. Um, so it doesn't look exactly right and obviously it's a lot whiter um, so if you can put up with that uh, then the KDLX is, it would be my choice of keyboard as a replacement if you do have to replace a keyboard there's nothing wrong with the uh, these modern replacements they're the best we can get um, and they do do the job they're not as responsive as the original you just got to put up with that um, unless you get the pure retro one they don't look like the original either um, so my pick of the bunch from these other ones the non tactile switch um, modern replacement membranes would be the pure retro one purely because although it's very slightly thicker than these two the response responsiveness is about the same um, and it actually looks like the original um, keyboard albeit um, not quite as grey so uh, you pays your money you takes your choice um, all those are available um, from their various stores as I say the one um, 2014 dated um, green tailed um, keyboard is also available from DataServe Retro and ZX Renew as far as I know. Um, so thank you very much for watching and uh, enjoy your ZX81s. Bye folks.